Are you tired of being a peasant? Are you tired of taking it in the butt like a dirty slut for a dollar fifty? Are you tired of sucking dick for McDonald's and only getting a Happy Meal? And, and not even a full deal of fries, like, like two or three fries. That's all you get with your Happy Meal. Getting ripped off, man. Just a, we're just all peasants out here on the frontier. We're peasants. We're going to stay peasants. Why? Because the bull run just doesn't want to run. Back to my wonderful career that I absolutely love. I was actually cussing myself this morning on the way to work. Like that old song says, cussing myself every damn day. That's about how it is, too. I'm like, ah, y'all think I got it all together just because I work for myself. Y'all think I got it figured out, you know? And, I mean, I'm better off than some people are, but, you know, because I am my own boss. But believe me, it, it weighs heavy. It weighs heavy on me just like it does you. I didn't even go to work Monday because I was just so, ah, you know? And a lot of it has to do with the way this market is and the way my career is and the way inflation and, you know? Let, let me tell you a little story. This is going to blow your mind. Y'all ready for this? This is what I'm going through. And this is what you're going through. This story relates to you. So check this out. <clears throat> Back in the 80s, when I was like five years old, literally, we lived in Oklahoma City, a major city. Regardless of where, it, where it's at, it's still a major city. In the middle of that city, on 51st Street, uh, let's see, what was it? Something Boulevard and 51st Street. Well, we lived on 51st Street, so let me just keep going. It was a two-bedroom, one-bathroom home, so it wasn't real big. Okay, that's where we lived. My dad paid for that house. Lock, stock, and barrel. Mom had a car, and she stayed home full-time with us, us kids. She never had a job, and he paid for his truck. My dad made $30,000 a year. Yeah. Flash forward 40 years later, because I'm 45. I drive around in my dad's van because mine's broke down and I'm too poor to get it fixed or to get a different vehicle. I live in the back room of my mama's house. Because, well, it might as well be a basement. But once again, too poor to, to have my own place to live, right? I work for myself, I have no home, I have no ride, and I work for myself as my own boss. In what world does that even make sense? I make $50,000 a year. In what world does that make sense? Am I lazy? I literally work for myself. I'm literally my own boss. So, am I sorry and no good? Or is the game rigged against us? How can my dad, 40 years ago, make $30,000 a year and have all this stuff? I make $20,000 more than he does. You know, comparison. And I'm just a peasant. Who am I? You see where I'm coming from, folks? So Monday, I'm laying in the bed, 
And I'm like, what's the point of you even going? What's the point? What I mean, you know what I'm saying? He's like, what is the point here? I'm I I'm I'm blowing away in the wind. If you think you got it bad, huh. Yeah. I I'm my own boss. I work for myself. Like, dude, I've 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 literally watched the sun come up while working on a job multiple times to get the job done. And I'm stuck. I work so hard to have nothing. To have nothing. So yeah, I want this bull run to take place. Yes, I've put thousands of dollars in this market. Yes, I've lost thousands of dollars in this market. But if I didn't put it in this market, something else would have took it. You know? I don't I don't I don't drink. I don't do dope. I don't do any kind of bad habits other than Get mad and cuss out a little bit every once in a while. That's like the worst habit I got. Yeah. Cussing myself every once in a while. Like I did this morning. I'm like, dude. I'm literally... I don't even have my own ride. It's stupid. This is stupid. This is stupid. This is... Uh, we're, we're, they set this thing up against us, man. So all these like youngsters out there that y'all find in fault with, like they're, you know, they don't want to go to work. They just want to lay on the, on the government handouts. I, I mean, I understand. I completely understand what's, what's the point. Why, why even try, you know, you, you see people like me on the internet, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, we're. There's no way I shouldn't be making it. There's there's absolutely, oh, you're just not fisc fiscally responsible. I mean, dude, like, they just throw all these ridiculous things out at you. There's no way that I should not be making it. This thing is that literally stacked against us. There's no way, man. I mean, not everybody can be, you know, a big influencer with hundreds of millions of followers and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of that is manipulation anyway. And when you when you learn what's really going on in this world. So you yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean it is what it is. I don't make the rules. I just gotta know what how how the game is played. I mean, anyway. Yeah, I'm frustrated. And I know you are too. Max Capitulation 2.0. That's probably what I'm going to put on the title. And there's some hopium going on in the uh, Telegram, Frontier Crew Telegram. Don't ask to join. If I don't send you an invite, you're not getting in. I done closed it off. I, 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 I just, you know, it's just. You get too many people in there, you got to start kicking people out because they just don't fit in. Not, not saying they aren't good people. They don't fit in, you know. Maybe they're a little too high strung or whatnot. Or they just don't have like the sense of humor that we have in the telegram. You know what I'm saying? They're good people. They just don't fit in with our personality, you know, the way the telegram is. You know, so it's better off just to close it and that way. I can monitor who comes in. I'm the only one that can let anybody in. You know, and I'm going to keep it that way. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's hopium going on in the Frontier crew and the Telegram. Uh, China is fast-tracking their uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs. The, uh, the Bitcoin ETF, they're going to start allowing purchases on April 30th so like two weeks yeah and they just got it approved Monday so two weeks from now they're gonna actually start uh, you know allowing purchases which is awesome and uh, so that should that should help out with um, that should help out with um, you know, the market rebounding. Of course, the Bitcoin halving is in, um, what, Friday? Or tomorrow? Something like that. 
It's either tomorrow or Friday. So that'll that you know that's always a bullish signal. Uh, April is pretty much going to just be sideways chop. It's it's a dud. It's it's a nothing burger for April. Uh, May I think May it should start trending back up again. And uh, yeah, I don't know. We're hoping that things will blast off and. We're hoping for a, a very bullish summer, but there's no guarantee on that. You just don't know till it happens, you know? We've speculated and we've tried to, you know, do all the analysis and got savvy people in the Frontier crew trying to figure it out and uh, going to different other influencers in their channels and trying to see what they're coming up with and then you take the overarching theme of what everybody is saying and you try to pinpoint what's going on and at the end of the day nobody has been right <laughs> there's a few that have gotten kind of close the bet the best thing i found is if they're just close if they're just close and i know people are gonna throw stones at me but the person that I've seen that has been the closest has been BitBoy Crypto. I mean, I'm not trying to ride his fame or anything. I got to where I don't even watch his channel anymore. But back in the day, like I remember him calling it, man. He's like, you know, you're gonna have the uh, you're gonna have a rally into the having. Which is pretty much what happened. Bitcoin went to 73k. Uh, I know it's retraced, but nonetheless, rally into the having. Then they cut interest rates around the end of summertime, the beginning, you know, summer, fall. They cut interest rates, and then we have our first leg up in the market. And that look, uh, we're here at the Bitcoin having. With the more, you know, we just had the rally going into the having, and that's probably what's going to happen with Jerome Powell coming out with, with interest rates, talking about uh, they're not going to cut interest rates anytime soon. That that he had that speech yesterday, so yeah, it looks like it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a lot of sideways chop and and um, a few bullish things that might cause the market to pick up a little bit. But hey, once they start cutting them interest rates, oh man, when they cut those interest rates, whoo, and they turn the money printer on for World War III, oh boy. Now, it's not going to be good for the stock market. <laughs> stock market will take a hit, but crypto market, and uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully nobody gets drafted and dies in the war, but. I don't know. It's just a bad deal. Uh, as far as bullishness for the market. So, so love or hate them, BitBoy Crypto has been the closest to being right. And uh, I figure, you know, once we get them interest rates cuts, you know, interest rate cuts, and then Canada starts cutting interest rates, it's got to be more than just America. We... We act like America is the only thing that influences this market. Like, like, dude, that's we do to a certain extent, but we need help. We're at the point where we need help. You know, we need help with this market. So, uh, anyway, there is a few bullish things out there. A little hopium for you. Uh, you might as well forget about crypto for the rest of April, unless you just want to watch my show. Because I post up, because this is my hobby. It's my way to cope, basically. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're going to go to the moon. We're right here. Bitcoin having. The Bitcoin having equals bull, bull run, bull market, whatever you want to call it. We know that, okay? Two plus two equals four. I know that that's white supremacy, according to some. But, uh, yeah, uh, bull run, um, Bitcoin having equals bull run. 
So we're right here. We just got to just hodl on your bags. Literally, the smartest thing you can do, and I'm going to end the stream with this little quote, so let me get the disclaimers out of the way. Not financial advice, do your own research, crypto news and entertainment. The smartest thing you can ever do right now, the smartest thing you can do is to do nothing. Do nothing. Sell nothing. Buy. Well, if the prices are going down, you want to buy, you know, DCA. If you don't have the money to buy, don't worry about it. Like me, I don't have the money to buy. What money I got? What money I got? Hello? What money I got? I got no money. I have no money to buy anything. However, I do have my bags packed on lots of projects. You know, probably could have bought a, a vehicle with that money, but I would rather put it in the market and ride around in my dad's van. Just saying. Okay? I'd rather stick it in the market. Because if, because when this thing, when this thing takes off, I'll, I'll be able to buy myself and him a ride. Well, he's already got a couple. Actually, he's got several vehicles, which is why he's letting me use that one. But anyway, anyway, old man does good for himself. <coughs> the point being, the point being is that do nothing. Sell nothing. Just for the next month or two. You're say actually for the next couple months, honestly. You know. If it if it you're gonna pay attention to the market to a certain extent. You know, you're always gonna do that. Your mind is set to pay attention to it to a certain extent. But basically, overall, your focus is focus is gonna be shifted on just living life, dealing with people you don't want to have to deal with, and, uh, you know, all that drama. So, um, yeah, just don't do anything. You got your bags packed. There's nothing else to do. Literally. There's nothing else to do. Well, just sit there. This thing's going to blast off. The Bitcoin having equals bull run. Sit there do nothing. Smartest thing you can do. Sell nothing. If you got a little money, buy. Fatten up your bags. That's it. Other than that, you know, it's just another day in paradise. Y'all stay frosty out there. <laughs>